What up everybody, Captain Pretzel here. So, this is gonna be my final video like this for the foreseeable future. I originally wanted to do these videos to just kind of give you guys insight into how I play and how I think about the game when playing Kirby. And in my first video, I did that a good amount, but I went into a lot of detail explaining like why I was thinking something and going off on tangents that were ho hopefully educational and entertaining enough, but I did go off on a lot of tangents explaining like why I pick certain moves over others, what kind of habits I'm looking for, and just generally went into a lot more detail than I could realistically muster in the given the speed of melee. And this time I want to try to just give you guys a direct stream of consciousness of exactly what I'm thinking as I'm thinking it, not going off in too many tangents about necessarily like good or bad things to do in general with Kirby, just give you a short stream of confidence like this is what I'm doing, this is why I'm doing it, and just kind of going back and forth with that kind of stuff just so you can hopefully really get some insight into the kinds of decisions that I'm making. So I guess if like the first video was about just generally the way I think about matchups and opponents and how I play them, and the second video was about how I played my defense and recovery game. This is more about my decision making. So this so yeah, so this will be a video mostly focused on decision making with Kirby. So without further ado, we'll get right into it and I will try to stick to the game plan here without going off on tangents, and I will basically just try to say out loud everything I'm thinking as I'm thinking it, and not embellishing it or adding any other information. So go ahead and queue up here, see if we get a good matchup. Alright, Sheik. Alright, immediately drops through platform, does some double jumps away from the stage, trying to get a feeling for the zoning. She's throwing out a lot of tilts. I know that she can't really hit me with her. She throws an F-Smash out of neutral, so it's probably a newer Sheik throwing an up tilt defensively. Down tilt here at this timing. Back here stage, because she cannot recover from that. Always like spamming tech skill between stocks, because it keeps my hands warm and Kirby. Not as technical as Fox, but still kind of technical if you're trying to move with him. Go for a fair shield poke here. Sheik's starting to play a little more defensively already. Try to gap ledge there, didn't get there fast enough. Ledge dash back air, got grabbed. D back throw, not a good option for Sheik, so I'm fine with that. Down smash to try to get Sheik off me. Forward air, back air, down smash. Down smash didn't come out the first time and I was late the second time. Rock to ledge, he might actually get hit by this, that's really unfortunate. He did not need to get hit there, but unfortunately he messed up his tech skill off stage, so we just got a free punish here. Excellently, forward smash there. Gonna try to do some tricky platform movement. Didn't try to roll there, tried to do that. Up here at ledge. Final cutter a little bit away from stage, so I'm out of detail range. Down throw, double jab reset, down air, forward tilt. Standard issue stuff for people when you're expecting to miss techs. We've landed off platform, back air. Tried to back air accident forward air, it's fine. Um, just wave dashing out of range. Just messed up some tech skill and I need to get my footing, so I'm not confident going in just yet, but we're back in, up tilt, up air. I don't think that's necessary, so we'll just grab ledge there. Cool. Approaching down air just in case he dashes in, he didn't. Forward air to cover our approach, ledge dash, grab, missed the grab. Forward air to boost the recovery, grab ledge since he's not covering, he's gonna throw needles, we're gonna back throw. Dip down a little bit to feign a low edge guard and then jump back up for back air. Got back in off stage again. Going for some single needle gimps, probably not gonna work like that. Jump, rock, near bottom stage, cancel it and back air out of it, back air again. Got hit by down air, we'll drift again to the safer spot. Again, up be just under stage. Forward air, back air wall, back air again. Just slightly messed up again, but we're not in any danger. Air dodge under the rock, so we're just gonna do some more back air movement. He's gonna do a get up attack in place, so we'll bait that out. Forward air, F tilt. He'll probably air dodge, he didn't, so we just covered it with a back air. Alright. And he's not sticking around, so next opponent. Falcon. Alright. Talked a lot about Falcon in my last two videos, but now I'll just give my studio consciousness. So first off, Dash Dance, see how he wants to react. He didn't approach immediately, so we're gonna assume that he's a we're gonna not make assumptions about whether he's offensive or defensive right now and just try to play some standard stuff, so wall him out with bears and tilts. 
He goes for a whiff grab. He can't grab Crouching Kirby. And a little bit of a missed input for him there. <laughs> Dare in place to try to cover a bunch of grabs. Up tilt a few times. Can mix it up anywhere between one and four times. That shows three there. Was expecting him to miss a tech, so I forward tilted, but he hit the tech, so it missed. He's gonna try to go out really deep to edge guard. Gonna reverse our up B there, just in case he sticks on ledge. Try to cover our knee roll in, so now that I know he's trying to cover tech in, I'm gonna try to not tech in. So, up B from ledge. Goes for a risky up smash. That would have caught a double jump, but he did not double jump. Charging down smash is just gonna either take an 8%. He's gonna do a get up attack. I'm gonna try to back air him. Traded with an E there. Probably not the best trade for us, but he's like one hit away from dying anyway. Down tilt here. Did a smart air dodge. He's gonna go to the top platform. We're gonna up air. He actually almost lived that, but I think he burned his double dump really too early. Retreat to ledge. Fair from ledge to try to catch a dash in. Fair to trip him up. Nair to trip him up. Couple up tilts and back air. Just mixing up a lot of aerials to hopefully hit him into knockdown. Another fair. Bear in place a bit. Don't try to mix up our... Because we've been just charging in a bunch, so we're just going to bear in place to kind of trick him. Reverse bear there. Covered pretty much all of his options if he drifted on stage or he went for ledge. Bear wall. Down smash. Just lots of bears and up tilts to keep him at the end of the stage, but he got back in. Bear here. Bear here. Bear here. Bear here. Tried to the gentleman and failed, so we just grab him forward to advance. Grab ledge. Choose your character. And let's see if he goes. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and turn oh I already turned notifications off. Alright, cool. Versus Falco, Alright, Falco. So first off, we're gonna see if he shoots a laser. He does, so this Falco likes to use lasers, probably. Standard issue Falco combos. Edge cancel a dare into another aerial for some pseudo-shield crusher. He's not really in range to get hit by it, but it's fine. It's gonna F-smash there, yeah. Connection's a little laggy, we'll tough it out at least for one game. He goes for an unnecessarily risky dare, so we get a free recovery and almost a gimp, but he got back just in time. We've got under him back here a couple times. That was an interesting air dodge. Down smash on platform. Probably not what he meant to do. Wave dash out of F smash range. Hit him with a jab a few times. Even if he dies out of it, we get a bunch of free percent. He's gonna F smash with an up air. Alright. Gonna roll in. Down smash. Almost got the second hit up air, uh, F tilt into up tilt. He's gonna F smash again soon. Miscalled the timing, but called the F smash. Might do it again. Nope, he's gonna up smash, which lets us just barely poke him with up smash there. It goes straight in, we just down tilt and he's dead. Actually tried to grab ledge through, but messed up, it's fine. I have no foul. Did a very silly F smash at ledge and he just completely dies from that. Charges in with an unsafe dare. Just trying to cover his ledge option to read him out there. We did not get the read, but we did get the hit. Just trying to bait out an F smash now. He's not actually biting this time, but I'm sure he will sooner rather than later. Now, nope, still, but so as long as he's not throwing out F smashes, we can just mix up going in with bears. He bears the stare. We hit back on the control stick a few times to maximize our recovery. He hits me with a dare. That's fine. Probably gonna go to top platform. He did, but he went to the platform, so good mix up by him. Fair here, up smash to read a roll in. He did not roll in. Fair, F tilt. Not necessarily meant to be downward angle, but uh, worked out. Try to call out an up smash, F smash with an up air there. Fair here, down smash here. He, if he actually angled out a little bit better, he would have made it back, but that's generally pretty safe. And he put it out, so GG's. We haven't actually gotten to play anybody more than once, but I try to incorporate knowledge I learned from the first game I played against them to subsequent games and so on and so forth. Alright, Falcon again. Immediately he charges in with Nair. 90% of Falcons will 
be the kind that just like charging in and doing moves or whatever. This one's actually doing dash dancing a bunch, but he's not really doing it effectively. He's just running back and forth in the exact same pattern, which means he knows enough about melee to know that dash dancing is good, but doesn't necessarily know enough to know why it's good. So we can exploit that by just calling him out whenever he's dash dancing. If you just like look at his rhythm, you can get some pretty easy kills off that. Good drift in, but we'll just back throw him back off, single hit, double hit fair, and then bear to kill him. You should not do that. Oh, actually, he can. Ah, my bad. I misinterpreted. He's gonna do that a few times. I was actually just about to grab a ledge there, but he got it back just in time. Bear there. We'll likely drift here. I meant to do that up there, but I messed up. I'm not, again, not the most mechanically consistent player, so I do mess up probably a lot more than your average player. Falcon side B can just be shielded, so I just do that and get a free grab. Call out a roll in there, because Falcons like to roll in there a lot. He didn't, so good on him. Up tilt, up tilt, turn around. Got out of here, so we just set to neutral. Try to mix up some run-in fares. Back air there. He got an air dodge, so that's really bad for him. He should die here. Going in with a few more fares. Down tilt. Fair. Back air, back air. Just try to wall him out. Baited him to coming in, but he actually got a knee off, so good on him. He's gonna try to do some silly edge guard here. If I had timed that a little bit better, he would have been forced to burn his up B, but I did not time it right. Got shield poked or let go of my shield one frame too early, either way, unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Try to spare just chasers on range. Uh, he, he played the DI mix up there and he won, so he got hit by a knee. That just happens sometimes. Go for the shield poke bear there, because it shields as soon as Falcon's shield's been damaged just even the tiniest bit. Do a runoff reverse bear there. I might not make it. Okay, so I did. Up air ledge. Attack that. Down air, he's dead. Oh, he lives. Good on him. Oh, and actually a good recovery, too. And that was almost a really good ledge grab. He could have killed me off that, but he missed up his ledge grab at the last second, unfortunately. Ledge dash, back air. His back air beat mine, so we're just gonna rock the ledge. Actually messed up the spacing on that a little bit, but he didn't cover it, so we're just gonna up tilt, grab, grab again. Bear wall, charge in with a bear. Dash dance a little bit, wait for him to grab. Tried to go for a very quick bear down smash there, but he was, I wasn't fast enough. Did get called out with our wave dash in. That's fine. He should die on about three more neutral interactions, so back throw, fair. He might die after two for this if he ever dodges. Yep. Oh, crap, I missed. So that's fine. Got a really decent combo started. We'll just back air there. Dip low. Fade into recovering low. And then bear. Alright, so now that I kind of know this game plan, this guy likes dash dancing but doesn't necessarily know how to use it. He goes in a lot. He tries to mix it up with defensive options, but while his punish game is pretty good, his defensive is a little lacking. So we kind of just play the waiting game, where if he's trying to combo us, we play a little safer, and as soon as he starts trying to mix up with his dash dances and other defensive options, that's when we charge in. So fair there, fair. He's in shield, so now we attack. Fair, bear, down tilt. A little off on that. That was really unfortunate. He's gonna roll in, hopefully. He didn't. He's actually never rolling when I'm expecting him to, so... There, there. Up smash to read the ledge dash. Almost worked. Not quite. He was just a little bit out of range. I think it probably would have sour spotted from that angle anyway. Just a little jab detail there to mix up his timing and scare him out of shield. Tried to do a turnaround bear there, but I hit the wrong button, so he got killed for it. Bear wall. One clean bear, or even maybe a weak bear should kill him at this point. Go for the reverse bear mix up. Dance around the platforms a little bit. Dare in place, because you can crouch immediately afterward and Falcon can't really do much to you. Do it again. Getting stuck in shield a lot here, so I'm gonna cool off a bit, try to recuperate. Make sure our tech's on point. Dash dancing again, not really mixing up his timing still. So we're gonna bear here, forward here, spot dodge that. Try to do a little slide off bear to down smash there, but the down smash didn't work out. Just turn around there. Tried to grab, but accidentally air dodge. That's fine. Down tilt. 
Oh, the knee. Turn around bear there. Slide off, down tilt. Ah, uh, I messed up. And he messed up. So I tried to do a down tilt and then turn around to grab ledge, but I messed up my wave dash. But we still got him with a little cheeky down tilt and a down smash. Could... Oh, we're fine. Okay. Could have died there, but he did not hit his text so correctly. That was a good read of my roll. I figured I was pretty safe there. It wasn't impossible for him to edge guard me. Oh, okay. We messed up a ledge dash there. That's fine. It happens. Okay, so his shield's weak, so now we can just kind of afford to go in, and he's either going to do a lot of shield damage, or he's just going to get hit by all our stuff. Missed up a wave dash there, accidentally rolled instead, got hit for it, it's fine. Back there, there. Could die there. Got lucky with the get-up attack. Bear there. Bear there. Bear there. Bear there. One more bear should do it. Yeah, he's not making it. Alright. Down throw. Detected this time, so we'll probably go for up throw in the future. Double up tilt, messed up on the slight drift forward into back air. Yes. Just tried to bully Falcon a bit, but we must have lost it. Here, so that's fine. So the guy appears, appears to be adapting a little. He's making a little bit better decisions. Uh, I'll try to articulate what those decisions are. He dashes in, hits our down throw again. I usually, if people can hit it more, even though they tech down throw, unless they can do it consistently, I still usually go for it. Up throw is just a flat 10% damage, but down throw can net you up to 40 damage. So your expected damage output, unless they can hit the attack four out of five times, is still higher going for down throw follow ups than up throw. But we're probably gonna start up throwing since he hit the last few. I could die here. Yeah, and he called out my DI. Yeah, he actually did have to get a read there, so good on him for doing it. Uh, tried to Nair there. Nair is actually a really good option to shield pressure Falcon in that situation. Good arms attack. Out tilt there. Back air there because he did an unsafe knee. Probably gonna drift. I'm gonna up air. He's gonna die. Probably an accidental forward smash. May have been intentional. Who knows? He's gonna miss that. We're gonna double jab reset into F smash. Tried to space around his Nair there, but failed. So, tech's in. We up there. Up air, excuse me. And he's throwing out more nares, throwing out knees, just general falcon stuff. Check his uh, get up attack. Ideally, we would have avoided that altogether, but it's fine. We didn't get too punished for it. Alright, he's throwing out a few stomps. F tilt there. Uh, and that's a dead falcon. Up here to catch him on platforms, really good at low percent, really good at all percents really, but especially at low percents, it just is a good way to quickly rack up damage. And he's not at the spacing where that would hit me, so we're just gonna back throw, back air, back air, back air, dead falcon. Good bear, I'm gonna try to drift a ledge here, be a little tricky, up tilt a few times bear. Uh, unfortunate with a fan there, but it's not the end of the world. So if we can get a grab somehow, all right, he hit us. If we can get a grab, we're just gonna go for up throw. Bear wall down smash or shield poke. Bear again. He spaced around it. Up throw. Tried to get a aerial hammer, but he went off. Missed the tech for that. Did a silly get up attack, so he's gonna die for that. Up air. Up air. He has a jump. Run off of his bear, and he can't move. Alright. Couple more with this guy, then we'll probably move on to someone else. So, got a pretty decent read of this habit at this point, but he is adapting, so it might be a little more interesting. Could die here. And unfortunately for him, we tech those. Otherwise, a good knee. He could die from this. Yeah. Not the way I was expecting him to die, but I knew that was an extremely unnecessarily risky move. He's throwing out a lot of down smashes. I don't think it'll hit. 
ledge dash here into a back air. I messed up the back air because I did not get out of shield in time. Down, down tilt, down tilt, dead falcon. Not dead falcon. Yes. Tried to down smash there, but again, I was a little late on my timing. Accidentally did a, uh... Ledge roll. And died for it. Fair pressure to a couple up tilts back air. There, because I knew he was going to drift in. Up to here, he actually... Yeah, no, I don't think he could have grabbed ledge. I mean, I'm fine to train down tilts for a bit. This Falcon really can't do that very well, and our tilt is better than his. So we got some minor slide off that... That was a really good recovery by him, but he messed up at the last second there. Uh, again, I thought I'd land on stage, I would have been trying to curvy side him. Interesting. Back here, he's trying to zone with Nier, so I'm gonna try to read a tech in. Good edge cancel. We hit him with the reverse bear to trade with Falcon. Uh, Raptor boost. Read the stomp. Bear where we think he's gonna be. Bear up till for some safe shield pressure. Kinda ran right into that. Tried to mix up with the neutral get up. Bear from ledge, he should be dead. Alright, one or two more. So again, he's dash dancing with very predictable timings. He did mix up the number of dash dances he did, though, so that's good on him. Tried to do a turnaround up there, but I missed the turnaround, so I got hit by Raptor Boost. Down smash should kill. Yeah. Uh, tried to up tilt accidentally up there, so he dropped some shield pressure. Try to down throw CB Tex, he does. Alright. Run off bear. Really good on Falcon. Attack that. Down air. Dead. He did not need to dare there. If he didn't dare, I was just dead because I couldn't make it back with, from that height with my FB. He's gonna grab. I was a little slow on my uh, da down smash. Tried to mix up my number of jumps, only burned three at times instead of all five of, of my double jumps. Just so that he couldn't hit me with the stomp. Down it, tilt there, back here there, and dead falcon. Alright. Uh, if I got a down smash off there, he was in a very precarious situation. Just missed up a ledge dash, and that actually saved us from the down smash there. Red, a tournament winner. Didn't really amount to much. Try to steal Ledge from there in case he tries to refresh his ability. Ledge cancel fair. Fairly safe aerial. Tried to recover, not burning jumps. He did something he didn't feel silly. I tried to check that, but I don't think it worked out. Well, it obviously didn't work out. And I might die to that. That'd be tragic. Alright, we're fine. I uh, still might live. I knew that would work because he was not in range for up tilt and I could drift it back. I don't think he can get a proof all up, but I messed up my DI anyway, so he got a follow up. Mm, read the jump to top platform, he did not do it. Messed up my timing for the D tilt and wasn't able to crouch cancel his ledge off, and that was a really good combo. I did mess up my DI a bit there, but it still takes a lot of precision to actually hit that with Falcon. That was a really good recovery. Wonder where all this was a couple games ago, but alright. Fair, fair. Scare him off stage. And up dash. Tried to bear him a couple times, but I just barely misplaced it around Raptor Boost. Or Falcon Dive. So, okay. Definitely the last game with this guy. I think 5-6 is more than enough. And I think Slippy cycles through every 6 stage on rank. So it's just good to see him on every stage. Probably didn't need to do an F-Tilt there, probably would have been better just to let him miss the tech and jab reset and get a bear or something. Good pressure. I accidentally landed on stage and did not space that properly. This is probably Falcon's best stage in the matchup just because he can kind of run around us. We don't really get a lot of platform shenanigans. We can edge cancel some stuff on the very left of the stage. We should be alive here, 
Mostly because Falcon's just not the best character at Ledge Garden. Uh, but I missed the Meteor Cancel there, or got Nipple Spike. Pretty sure I just missed. That's- that's fine. Up tilt, up tilt, forward air, F tilt. Back air, back air, back air, back air. Missed up my last back air and got hit for it. He's stomping a lot. Tried to up tilt there, did not come out. A little bit of a slippy teleporting there. Not the best decision to tack in there. He might get a drift in. Read the drift in, did not read the down air spacing. Might lose another stock before we get his. That'd be tragic. Sadly hit him the wrong way and he's still gonna live. Should be dead here. He's gonna falcon kick and we're just gonna barely miss. Alright, that, that was a really good trade for him. Just barely mess up the spacing on that down here. It's fine. We could probably bring this back. Down tilt. It's gonna require playing neutral a little more carefully than I have been, so we're gonna try to down here. I'm uh, missing unfortunate number of inputs right now. Down here, here for shield pressure. Up tilt, F tilt. Read to jump, he Raptor boosted instead. Slowly but surely driving him into a corner, but he got out. And he cannot recover from that. Again, that was a really unnecessarily risky wedge guard. It can work out in Falcon, but I think like I- Oh no, I just DI'd that absolutely atrociously. Like I mentioned in my last video, if Falcon messes up his edge guard off stage, he just kind of dies every time. And messed up a wave dash back. Messing up a lot of short hops right now and getting punished for all of them. So, just a little bit of unfortunate technical mispresses. Uh, he actually made it back. I didn't think he could, but we missed a turnaround up tilt again, and again, we're getting punished for it. Back here, there. Down tilt there. Down tilt there. Good tech. Messed up a little bit there. Messed up the spacing on the back here again, but we still got an up air. Charging in. So if he can kill me right here, he probably wins, otherwise he loses. That's incredibly unfortunate lag. I might die. Alright. Okay. And I miscounted, because I thought that was five games. That's okay. Didn't want to quit immediately after he win anyway. That probably come across as salty, and I don't like coming across as salty. So, we'll give him one more game. A couple more back airs in place. I just noticed that the king's like in the hundreds. I'm actually surprised it's not more teleport. This is actually a pretty good connection for what it's worth. Just wall out with down tilt stair, up air there. I was expecting him to air dodge actually and cover it with a bear, but it did not happen. Tilt there. Barely got a good. It may not even even have been a good tech, to be honest. Probably a, not a good place to deck. And unfortunately, got clipped by the uh, Falcon dive there. Might die off the top. Really good by him. Hard to tell if the guy's playing better or if, like, FD is just being FD. I think the guy's actually playing a little better. So, good on him. Down tilt there. Read that with an up air. Getting hit by a lot of these side Bs, which is really unfortunate. A lot of it's just due to me missing inputs, but a lot of it's just me getting red. Rolls in. Try to bear there. I accidentally double jumped a few times when I tried to fast fall. Read the roll in and up smash. I accidentally double jumped again instead of fast falling, so again, putting myself in unnecessarily precarious positions here. Down throw. He hits the tech to go for some fair pressure. Even if Falcon techs that away, can't really do much off of it. So we can still pressure him with fair, or basically whatever we want. Uh, might live this. 
Oof, just barely died there. That's fine. Down throw. Probably should have up throw at this point. Guy's also rolling in a lot and I'm not covering it as nearly as much as I should be. So we're just gonna do some... We're gonna keep trying to play the neutral the same way, try to get some openings. We're gonna start shielding the rapid boost if we can. Cover the roll in this time. That eh, didn't work. Check the rapid boost, that's good. Up tilt, up air. Read the jump. Do a cross up fair into bear there. Back throw. There, up tilt, up air. Oh no, I tried to do something else there. Now I can die for it. That was really good by him. We almost got need there. I still get need here. And I'm missing up just an unfortunate amount of stuff at this point. So we're probably gonna lose this game as well. That's fine. I'll take my L. Dead. Yeah. Oh! I do not know how I'm alive here. And again with the greedy as guard by Falcon. I'm gonna chill on ledge here, see if he can bait out more greedy edge guards. We're gonna roll in here. Try to trip his timing up with a couple of tilts. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get too greedy here. Ledge dash. Tried to do a back air there, but missing a lot of inputs again. Back throw here, back air, back air. Messed up the space on that last back air. Back throw, forward air. He should be dead here. Ah, oh, I hit him the wrong way, so he's he lives yet. Back throw again. Catches jump. Back air there. Alright, we brought it back. Very good. Could die here. He almost died there if I got a down air off, but I accidentally fair. Get some extra credit. We need a jump here, down tilt there. Should be a dead falcon. Alright, GG's friend. I actually had a lot of fun playing that guy. I wish I could play him more. Uh, but just in the interest of finding other matchups and other players, we'll go ahead and move on. GG's on Mr. Falcon. Alright, I forget. Did we... She was the first player we played, correct? I think we knew already this, but... Uh, let's see. So yeah, she's just throwing out a lot of aerials right now. Down smash, just punish him with the action grab. She techs, so that's good. Getting a lot of bears here. That was actually a really good idea by Sheik in general if you do it correctly, but obviously the Sheik messed up and did not successfully edge her like that. Even if she does do that, I could have just teched and I probably would have done that. Alright, tech twice, so we're probably not gonna do that in again. Really smart uh, up air from ledge from Sheik. Good fair. Gonna roll in up tilt. Clank. Good drift by Sheik. Just drop air. I tried to run off air again, but I messed up my timing. I might die from this, but I might live. Cool. Again, I like the idea, but it just doesn't really work like that. That's just silly. So this Sheik is edge guarding incredibly aggressively. Uh, for better or for worse. That's just unfortunate. Uh, okay. Uh, kill us with Thuppy. So this is like a... So I don't really feel like I need to formulate a giant game plan against this guy, because even despite all the good stuff he's doing, he basically just SD'd. Well, he does it three times, and made some very silly edge guarding decisions. So... Trying to think of what I was seeing there. I lost my train of thought, but oh well. So getting some standard sheet combos. Very good. Deer in place a bit. Down tilt. Is it out to face the sheik? Down tilt again there. Down smash. Charge in. DI's in. Some aerial hammer. There, there. 
D-tilt there. Read the jump in with an up air. He spaced around it. Ledge dash. Wait out all of Sheik's tilts and Chelsea pops out a new smash. Assist an unfortunate recovery. This guy just seems to have some generally okay Sheik ideas, but... Um, his edge guarding is unfortunate. We'll just wave out under that. Uh, failed a uh, shield grab twice, just not fast enough. Down through here. Tucks away. We get a forward air. She couldn't get out of that by rolling away, but I don't think he figured that out yet. We're gonna die. Yeah, hard right. Try to tech on the platform to avoid a fair follow up. We're probably dead here if he's confident, but he back throws. Interesting. And we just go for a little nair there to cover any of his drop zone back airs, and we actually get a kill from it. And we live, so all those are bonuses. Interesting chain. Down air there. Up throw here because he's been teching reliably. And he gets a weak pair, so again we're living. That was kind of cute. Alright. Tried to wave dash in there, but I uh, mistimed the shield stun on Sheik's down smash. Understandable get up attack. Try to down tilt there, accidentally down smash. We didn't get punished, thankfully. We don't touch this again, we just wave dash in again. Get a very, very not true back air there. Uh, should not have worked except for he max DI'd in. Run off bear. Tried to run off bear. Uh, messed up my run off. It's always the easy stuff. Decent shield pressure by him there, but he should be dead if that just. Yeah. All right. So this guy doesn't seem to use needles too much. He uses them a little bit, but not nearly as effectively as he could in the matchup. So that's one thing I'd normally be worried about, Sheiks, and I'm just not worried about with what he's demonstrated. Just recovers on the stage here. Didn't have time to get a reverse spear follow up, so he just do a forward air. Nice arms attack by him. So he's demonstrated that he can arms attack. He's probably going to go to top platform. We're going to cover with an up air. It didn't work. Uh, let's see. Bait out a dash attack. Back air there. We're going to go up here. We're just going to up air and kill him. Try to get out of the corner here. Getting a lot more up tilts than he should. And that fair should not have happened. And that Most of that was not true. That was just him not knowing how to be I Kirby's moves, I think. He air dodges, it's fine. Expecting a get up attack and covered it with a bear in place, but he rolled. He's gonna try to do that, we're gonna tech. I actually think I saved him there because he was about to SD from the whip. He's gonna charge needles. Just thinking he would roll out of the way and we flip him with a final cutter, but it's fine. Get him with the max distance up air there. He has to recover on stage if you spare him off. If he lives, we just do it one more time and he should be dead. He's dead. Alright. Right. Uh, I thought I missed base step, but we're good, so we're just gonna final cutter. He was standing far enough away from the ledge where I knew I could just land on stage with it. Well, I'll take that again. Just a very standard chic edge yard. So if he actually gets his fair fall up, he can hit me, but he missed up with his uh, dash. Uh, that was an accidental dash deck instead of fair, so I died for it. Happens sometimes. All right. Go to the top platform, he air dodges away at the last second, realizing what I'm doing. Air dodges again there, we get some free follow-ups, shield pressure, bear. Tried to cover a roll in there, but I messed up, but I accidentally covered the right spot anyway. Go for a quick bear D smash there, just to hit him off the stage, since he just tried to air dodge, and we weren't quite expecting that, but we had enough time to cover it. Spot dodge, down smash, down air, or gosh, down throw. Two, two, two. And guy is playing good zoning, we're just gonna down throw again. Try to go for a re-grab, which is not true by any means if Sheik rolls away, but if he doesn't if he doesn't roll away, we can't get that re-grab with a jump cancel the grab. And some more shield pressure with bear up tilt. Go for a ledge cancel over there. Down air. Down tilt rather. 
accidentally rolled in a couple times, tried to just wave dash back. So he could kill us here. He's gonna up B all the way to ledge. Fade back since he decided not to go in. Hopefully get some cutter damage. Uh, clip him with cutter there. Wait that out. Accidentally messed up and got hit by the second hit of it. Decent edge guard by him. Uh, missed the wall tech there, otherwise he probably should have been dead. Got a grab. Duck the needles. There here. Down air. Down smash since he tried to grab. Tried to run past him off stage and then bear him. But he grabbed us before we can do that. Here we're on stage again, so we just down smash. He's been doing that double jump into that exact spot a lot, so we just go ahead and bear him out of it. Take the guys for it. Probably one or two more with this guy, and then we'll go ahead and switch opponents. Alright. Throwing out a lot of tilts, trying to zone us out, so game plan hasn't changed that much. Call out a jump, didn't jump. Down smash that. Still trying to drop. He's, this guy is still grabbing a lot. So honestly, as long as we're winning, I'm not too concerned about the margin of win, but if we really wanted to like be like three or four stocking this guy, I'd probably be crouching a lot more since he does like fishing for grabs. But I'm not too concerned about um, my margin of win, so we'll just go ahead. Oh, well, maybe I should just start showing it off just to, like drive the point home. So if I just tilt a bunch and crouch a bunch, he should not be able to hit me. At least if he keeps fishing for grabs. We missed the ledge dash there, that's fine. Tap tilt there. Tap tilt there. That's an unfortunate air dodge. So I guess we're even on that. Run past him a bit. Down tilt. Going with fair just to mix up his down tilt because he cannot hit us. He cannot cover. He cannot cover both down tilt and fair at the same time. Tried to wait out a grab. He's actually not grabbing as much as I thought he was. So I guess um, he was only grabbing because I wasn't crouching. So good on him. Going with a fair. Accidentally messed up a ledge grab there and got hit unnecessarily by Poof. Uh, call that attack in place. Was wrong about it. Go for another ledge dash. Roll in. Up tilt. Up air. Call out his dump. Oh uh, goodness. Messing up a lot of stuff again. So we'll go ahead and do that. Almost hit him with the cutter. Back here there. That's just a really unfortunate jump on his part. He's likely gonna go on stage or just gonna bear him again. He shouldn't be able to live. I don't think even Zelda can make it back this far. He might try to transform immediately, which case we're just gonna double jump up and get a dare. He doesn't. Okay, we'll just get a dare here. Maybe. Try to lure him on this platform and see if we can get a tech chase going. Uh did not let us do it, it's fine. I mostly like that idea. I think we're still alive here. Alright. So he closed out the edge guard to go on him. I think we could have air dodged a little bit better there, but it's fine. Down here a couple times. Or down tilt. Sorry. Hit us with needles, trying to avoid that the whole game, but it was a good mix of timing. Bearer. Up tilt. Classic. Bear again, since yeah, I knew he did that on unsafe height. Put out a bear wall or two. He's actually playing the matchup a little better. Uh, Stadium is not a great save in this matchup in general, just because she kills a lot easier here than me. Tried to read a double jump, but he did it way earlier than I thought, and we could have actually died there if he was a little more uh, proactive about his edge guard. That time we called up the double jump correctly, and he's dead. And that was just kind of a silly F smash, but it kind of worked out in his favor. He's probably gonna try to go high to edge guard us again, as long as we... Alright. It was a little bit late on the air dodge there. So... Get a quick bear there, quick fair there. Alright, crouch cancel that. Did not get nearly as much damage off that as I'd like. Tried to down smash there, but I accidentally forward smashed, which means the end I was punishable. Call out the roll in, there, call out the dash attack, down smash. Tried to bear there, messed up the input. Oh, uh, okay, I tried to do a runoff bear there, but it wasn't just gonna work. 
Tried to F tilt there, but I also messed up an input, so we can tie here. Alright, he did a silly down smash. Good up here by him. Alright, we'll give him one more game and then call it. Unless he quits out here, he might. Alright, cool, one more game. Alright, so... So last round we got hit by a lot of dash, or a lot of down smashes unnecessarily. We let him get a lot more grabs than necessarily. We failed to crouch cancel a lot of stuff. And we definitely got hit by more needles than necessary. So it's every time that I see that he's got a full charge stack of needles, I'm going to go ahead and just play a little more defensively with crouches and whatnot. Baited him into thinking I was going to grab ledge, but then mixed up for the onstage uh, juicier punish. I actually give this game two guys two more games because again I'm having a lot of fun playing this guy. This is actually a pretty decent shake. Not the best by any means, but still pretty decent enough where it's pretty entertaining. Tried to F smash there, may have worked better. It's hard to say for sure. Do some tricky movement here. Throw out some bears. Can't live that. I actually tried to go for a falling up there there, which is a kind of unsafe option, but he would have certainly died instantly. Uh, drifted back on stage here just in case he grabbed ledge. I didn't think he'd risk grabbing ledge there. But I didn't want to risk it. Another back throw off stage. I could die here if he timed that right. He didn't. He either was too scared to commit to an edge guard option. Uh, okay, he finally does the ledge attack that I kind of keep expecting him to do, so we get him. Tech's in. I tried to go for an up air there. Let's call Dash out and spot dodge. He actually down smashed him. It's just a little off on the spacing thanks to Wispy. So thanks a lot, Wispy. Back here there. Should be a dead Sheik. Goes in for a dash attack. Go ahead and up tilt a few times. Uh, it was a little bit unsafe. Actually, it was a lot unsafe, but we should still be fine. He's gonna kneel there. Try to do a ledge hot or ledge drop bear. I didn't think he was prepared for that. Try to DI for the platform again, we get it. Excellent. Rock here. Ledge dash. Try to do a wave dash, but I accidentally rolled. He rolls in again, he should probably stop doing that. We're gonna down tilt there. Go for a cheeky back air there. Throws a needle. Could die here. I probably died there because I messed up a uh, fast fall. Alright, never mind. And he's been doing that up air a lot, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and call it. All right, one more game with this guy, and then we're definitely done with news, four stock, or what have you. All right, and we got FD again. For better or for worse. I uh, thought he would do the lead attack again, but he didn't, so he still gets some free punishes. Tries to grab, we down tilt. Call it the jump fair. Roll in, he actually went just for the ledge. Tried to SDI that, but he failed, but we did get a free dare. Good drift by him, but he keeps doing that fair from the ledge, so we go ahead and do burn another double jump just to bait it out and then bear him off. He's dead. He sadly cannot recover from that. Too. Right. Down through again. I don't think he's missed a single down throw tech this far. It's just me being silly, not up throwing him at this point. So I'm probably gonna start doing that if I can. We call it the no tech or the tech in place. The aerial hammer would have kind of messed up anything he wanted to do for both. He whips the grabs, so we try to D smash, but we actually also do that too late. A little bit of a silly up smash, but unfortunately it did not react correctly out of shield, so we got hit by it. Alright, sure. Try to call out a jump there, but he doesn't jump and instead up here's worse for it, so that's fair. We probably won't call it that jump in the future. Really good CC dying smash by him. Actually went for a bear there, but that was probably even better. Went for an up air there, that was definitely worse. Up tilt up air again. Call it the jump. Grab ledge. Force him on stage, charge up, smash a little bit. Didn't quite kill him. I think he CC'd. It's hard to tell. Figure he tried to grab there. Uh, did not figure he'd dare there. I don't think he's used dare too much. So 
so it's actually a little bit of a surprising option. I messed up my timing there. They should be dead anyway. Can't recover from that, and I think we're fine. Alright. Messed up our dash dance a little bit, and we messed up our tag, so we just died. So yeah, two mess ups on my part deserve to die for that death percent. Down smash. Roll in a couple times, get some up tilts. He crotch cancels the first one, maybe he's get a free second one. Try to ledge cancel up tilt there, but he's still on ledge. Go in for the nair. DI this a little bit, and he hasn't actually been trying to get a follow up off of his um, throws. No big ups, he's gonna get up attack, we're gonna back throw. Fair, and he should die. Alright, GG's friend. Let's see if we can get a couple more matches. I don't think we've ran into a fox yet. Oh my goodness, it's Wispy. I actually know this guy. So, uh, I play this guy a decent amount, so he's actually pretty good and knows a lot of my habits. That said, this guy is a Sheik main. So, his fox is pretty good, but it's not his main character, so I'm not as worried about it as I would if he was playing a Sheik. So we're just gonna dash dance a bunch there. He's going for a lot of interesting shield pressure. I think he's giving me a little too much respect, to be honest. I don't think he's being aggressive enough to shine pressure. That was actually a really good shine by him. He waited out all my jumps. That's pretty much what you should be doing in this matchup. He does, however, go to the uh, obvious top platform. Might die here. Yeah, okay, I missed phase two jumps and I deserve to die there. A little bit unfortunate. Call the chop jump and him again. Try to throw out some walls. Uh, accidentally up smash there, meant to up tilt, but it worked out. Missed a slide off. Call out this exact spacing. He's gonna probably go here. Uh, I messed up the second time around. Down throw should put us on the platform above us. Up tilt. I thought I spaced just outside that, but unfortunately I messed up a little bit. Tried to bear there, but we got the second bear, so we're good. I accidentally, I was trying to fast fall a couple of those double jumps, so I accidentally burned way more jumps than I needed to in neutral. Down throw. Down smash. Call that out. He can't make it back from there, so I'll just let him fall. Down throw. Text in place, which is not generally a good option. At low percent, Fox can shine out of that, which he tried to do, but he was just a little bit slow on his shine. Messed up SDI there, so we should probably die. It's fine. He almost died there, but we messed up, and now we might die. Could die here. Call out a shine. He shields there. We could die here. We are probably dead here. Alright, I messed up a bear, but he also messed up considerably. Up tilt, up air. Should die. If not, he's probably gonna go through the side flat. We messed up our pressure. Accidental up smash there. He should actually be dead this time. Here we go. Alright. Might switch to Sheik. Might stay Fox. Alright, switching staying to Fox. So jump up at the top to avoid lasers there. He didn't actually shoot any. He's actually a pretty aggressive fox. So does like Shine a lot. There's not a whole lot curb you can do about Shine other than try to read it and stay out of the way. So we're just gonna play very careful spacing mix-up game. He's doing a lot of running shines, which is really safe, but also doesn't necessarily net him a lot. So it's an extremely low committal, low risk option for Fox. Call out the tech in place with a down smash, wasn't quite fast enough there. Call out the double laser. A little bit slow on the grab. A lot of drill shine pressure. I accidentally messed up my back air. Back air there. Roll in, F tilt to cut off his uh, 
spacing. Tried to bear there, but was very off on my spacing. Got the second time around, though. Tried to call it a shine there. I'm gonna do that again. Don't think he knows how to deal with this yet. Yeah, we were not close enough for the wall to wall tech that, so unless he messed up the shine, we were not living that under any circumstance. So we'll go ahead and keep putting up a wall. He's trying to go in with a lot of drills. Down tilt that. We messed up the timing and the spacing. Oh goodness. Try to go for a ledge dash there. Up throw. If he DIs him, we get in the back air. He did. Try to down tilt there, but again, we were just off on the timing. We are rolled behind him in F tilt. We were just a little bit off once again on that. Missed attack, so we go for a fair F tilt, and then we bear him, and even if he goes to the other side of the stage, he should still die from that. Grab, D throw. A little bit cheeky on his part. Call out the F smash. Call out the jump out of the corner. The fair. Go for a little bit of a cheeky inhale. Sometimes they can't space around that and they just kind of roll into it and it's funny. But. Fair wall. SDI out of that this time. Got it. Call out a da uh, get up attacks. We can't actually cover if Fox rolls away there. Call out more jumps out of the corner. Alright, that went better than expected. Okay, so... Yeah, this is very much a running gun. Fox does not shoot a lot of lasers, just likes to go in. Which, if they have a really on-point punish game and really on-point mix-ups, that can be the hardest type of fox to deal with, but if you can get a good read on them, it's the easiest type of fox to deal with. And he's not messing around your ledge anymore, because he knows how dangerous it can be. So we're just going to go in with a forward air. Down tilt, trying to stay out of his range still. Again, a lot of movement. Misses up here. Try to call out that... Out a very unsafe uh, option by Fox there. Uh, Bear didn't quite work there. He might start fishing for up smashes now that he's in that one. Tried to get a dash back into a bear, but he was a little faster than we can muster. Down tilt there, he's gone. And that was a read. I didn't know he was going for that. I just kind of figured based on what he'd been doing in the past. Down throw again here. Not missing those techs. And we hit that tech, and he just kind of dies for it. It's a really hard tech to hit, and that's a really tight spacing of bear, but as long as you're hugging wall, and Fox goes with one of his only two recovery angles, it shouldn't be that hard. Try to get a bit of a cheeky down air there. Uh, try to reverse the up B, and land on stage and get a cheeky spike on Fox, but it didn't work out, and we just got killed for it. If I didn't reverse it, it probably could have... Uh, if I didn't reverse, I probably could have attacked the... Attacked the attack. Oh well. Oh goodness, I could die here. Yep. Alright, I missed my tech and almost died, but then he missed his tech and he did die. Missed his tech for once, so we get a free drill. A little bit of shield pressure there. F tilt. Can't quite cover that. Wait for Whiskey to blow us a little bit. Down throw. Gonna check in place and try to shine us off stage like he has the last couple of stocks, so they just die here. Nope, messed up a little bit. Still make it back. Down tilt here. Down here. Yeah, that's a game. Alright, probably a couple more with Wiz P here, and then we'll move on to the next guy. Thinking about, like, maybe doing two or three more sets after this one, and then calling it. So, wave dash in. Actually got a really nice wave dash there. Down tilt there, just barely missed out on the timing. Messed up a ledge dash, got hit for it, it's fine. Oh goodness. Uh, 
uh, we get a little tiny micro drift. I tried to, try to drift around there, I messed up, so it's unfortunate ESD here. Put a lot of pressure on this platform with our bears. Texans, we bear again. Gare there. He dies. All good. Tech traps. He rolls in again. Sure. Good up airs by him. Try to get a ledge dash F tilt. We mess up, but he also doesn't try to punish us too hard. Really clean tech on our part there. We turned a winning situation or a losing situation into a winning one just by teching that shine and getting our counter off of it, so that's good. That grab, I'm very surprised to reach. Call out some unsafe stuff. Down smash there. Uh, Randall had just left, so I don't know what he was doing with that straight up angle. Go in with the down tilt a bit. Uh, back air, up tilt, a bunch. He's using his shield a lot, so that tells me that we can probably go in for a grab. Uh, we did die there. Failed to date DI. Probably could have DI'd uh, out of that, but we would have still been in a very bad position. Back air. Uh, messing up some tech skills, so I'm just gonna retreat a bit, try to get our movement back on point. A lot of fares. A little bit of a drill there, just to kind of mess up his movement. The fact that we got some clean damage off of it, just a bonus. And we got a really lucky reverse fair there, but we weren't quite enough, fast enough to get down to the bottom there and get our details off. But, yeah, unfortunately, we SD'd anyway. Alright, two more games with this guy. Just doing a lot of drill shines at this point, so he's probably going to keep doing it until it stops working. Yep. I guess that's semi-conditioning, because it- I'm just being particularly bad about dealing it with right- hit. Excuse me. I'm being particularly bad about dealing with drill shine right now, even though it's fairly easy to deal with, he should die here. Because he overextended, and again, it's- it's a lot like Falcon, where a fox is very confident in his shines, it should kill Kirby when he's away from stage almost every time, but if he whiffs, then Fox should die every time. So that's what we're kind of counting on there. Fair, detail. Try to SDI out of that, failed, so we die. This happens, that's, that's just the nature of playing Fox sometimes. And call that out. He can't make it back from there, so we just let him die. Fair. He's trying to move really fast around us, but I think he's trying a little too hard to move around us to the point where it's like becoming pretty easy just to... Uh, so, so what I'm noticing is he's moving around us a lot, which is kind of intimidating, but he's attacking so little between his movements that we just have multiple opportunities to attack him every time he tries to attack us. There, there. Down tilt there, messed up. Down, smash there, and he would clip and trying to get back up from his double jump. Fair there, wave dash back off, bear. A little fun little movement strat just to try to surprise your opponent because you can fall pretty fast on platforms with Kirby. A lot faster than people often expect. Rolls in again, so we just bear, bear, bear. So we actually live that. We got a little antsy. Managed to actually duck his F smash with the D smash. Barely clip him with up smash there. Should get killed here. Yep. All good. Feigned going to top platform and trying to cover the side platform, but he's still got out of it. We're just gonna cover that with that. Try for a very cheeky reverse bear there, and then we get a cheeky up air anyway. All right, so last one against Wizp, and then we'll call it here. Just move on to the next person. Shoutouts to Wizp. I could die here if he gets greedy and lucky. 
He did not get greedy, so no opportunity to get lucky. That was an accidental up smash that should have been an F-tilt, but again, sometimes we have happy little accidents. And he actually hides from that, so cool. Dash Dance has been placed, try to bait out his options. He's now fishing for grabs for some reason. So now that I see that he's doing that, we're gonna play around Fox's grab. Bear from ledge. Back throw. I should die, yeah. That's a really unfortunate really early dip, but we're still a stock ahead, so it's fine. Cover that. I actually tried to fair there. Nair kind of worked out. Spot dodge is recovering without getting up in place. I could die again. I am not making good decisions in general off stage right now. Tried to go for a reverse fair, didn't quite work out. We get a little bit of a fair. Try to call out his ledge. He seems to be going on in like the third jump most of the time. Something I actually picked up from playing LSD recently is that people tend to have very specific rhythms on when they like to go in. And so I've been trying to learn people's rhythms and like when they prefer to go in. This guy seems to like going up the ledge every third jump. So he'll grab ledge, he'll stall a bit, he'll grab ledge again, he'll stall a bit more, and then he'll go in on the third time. So by calling that out, it becomes a lot easier to get a lot more free punishes off him than you'd otherwise be able to get. Calling a lot of jumps here. Spot dodge, grab, F tilt because he missed attack. Almost got that. He tried to go for a... Maybe it's one's going to back throw in here. Tried to down smash there, probably would have killed him, but it did not come out. Spot dodge, de uh, tried to drop out from there. Down here, there. I uh, accidentally grabbed ledge there. I was trying to bear him, and he probably would have made it back if I did. So once again, a little bit of a miss but actually working out for once. It's very laggy. He was in an unfortunate position where he couldn't grab ledge and continue edge guarding. Alright, GG's with P. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to someone else, but uh, fun games. So I'll talk to you later if you see this or not. Uh, okay, so probably two more opponents, and then we're gonna call out a session, because once again, my voice is getting quite tired, and I'm actually gonna take this opportunity while we're searching to get a drink of water. Alright, so Luigi. Alright. So, let's just get a handle on it. Uh, things I like to look out for immediately. Is this guy doing a lot of wave dash in down smashes? Is this guy doing a lot of wave dash in approaches in general? If he does a lot of those, I can just beat them out with shield. Not a problem. And he should just be dead here. There's a wave dash. Here's me out of it. Okay. So not a brand new Luigi player necessarily. Still doing a lot of weird things. Tried to karate chop me out of that. Uh, which is as good a move as any, but I drift out of the way. Try to nair me out of that. Flipped him with a bear that I need to not need to get hit by, so we're just gonna dare here. And then even if we get hit by MS fire, he just dies, so that's fine. And lo and behold, we get hit by MS fire. Very good. So now he's just kind of tossing out moves. I don't really know if he has a game plan at this point. Tries to near it up till, so we just face around it. Uh, this guy did not jump early though. I think this might actually be a pretty new player. So we'll play like two games with this guy and then probably move on to somebody else and we'll still like play two more. So I want to play a couple more, at least mid-level players. So bear, run off bear. That's... Well, sorry, Luigi. And, and he quit out, so that's fine. All right, let's see if we can get anybody else. Who would we want to run into? Running into a Peach or a Puff right now would be nice, because I think they're the most different from anybody I've analyzed so far uh, this video. So we're looking for a Peach or a Puff, hopefully. Ice Climbers, actually, I think we haven't run into at all. And they're also a very interesting matchup and a very good matchup for Kirby. So if we could talk about one of those, that'd be great. Uh, but sadly, there aren't very many puffs on netplay, and there are even fewer peaches and icees. So we get another Falco, that's fine. No laser. Pretty good movement off the bat. Oops. 
Alright. So I think I understand this guy's game plan. It's a little laggy, but I think we can make it work. So double down to up tilt into a double jab reset. Messed up a lot of tech stuff, unfortunately. Cover that. Almost messed up there, but we salvaged it at the last second. Messed up there. And another stock, because he jumped in a very unfortunate and predictable spot. Right, F smash, he did a smash. Probably gonna try it again very soon. Try to go for a jab down smash, but we were just a little bit slow, or he was just a little bit fast, either way. Probably gonna a smash at the edge again. Get a space outside the range of that. Fair, fair. Down smash. Dead burn. Might get greedy for a kill at this point, it's hard to say. I don't think F Smash will kill me, even if it does hit, unless I'm like at the very end of the stage. He might go for a suicide dare here, or just a dare in general. So we're gonna try to space around that. Let's dash behind him, but he got behind us. So we're gonna very carefully conserve our jumps here. He's gonna try to dare again, we're gonna let dash behind again. We out for the get up. Bear, bear. And dead bird. All right. Stick around, switch, or leave. Let's see, he's staying. All right. All right. He's trying to stay out of our way. I don't think it'll work very well for him. Read the tech in. Yep. He was prepared for another tech in, but he didn't, so good on him. Reverse back your seals that. Waiting for an F smash, but he didn't, so good on him. Seems like a pretty new Falco player, so I'm not expecting too much from this guy. So it's mostly his bread and butter stuff at this point. Uh, did not quite get our down smash bear. He did F smash again, finally. Which is always nice to see. Always a free punish on Falco. Uh, try to ledge dash, get in on him, wait for him to approach him safely. He actually gets a shine off. I think he shield poked. Messed up a runoff. Get a reverse bear. Tax in, so we just down smash. Runoff bear. Trades, but it's fine. We get the stock. Play carefully around the ledge. Uh, messed up a ledge dash and died for it. This guy's just doing a lot of standard issue uh, BN or Falcon stuff, which makes it fairly easy to deal with. Just up tilt him a few times, playing with his tech, double jab, reset, F smash. A lot of side Bs. But that was surprisingly to hit, hard to hit, so we just try to call it the timing the best we can, and we'll miss like five times out of six probably, but it's okay. Uh, messed up a fastball there. Messed up a platform drop there. Got a nice little uh, fair bear, fair up to the string, something like that. He down smashes, which is just a kill for us. That uh, sent him the wrong way. Tripped him. That was an accidental uh, smash. Tried to axe up there, but either way, got the kill. F smash again. Up from ledge again. Charging with. Fair, charge in fair. Jab to mix up his timing. Go ahead and recover high at first. Because he still hasn't shown that he can edge guard super effectively in this matchup yet. He's kind of throwing out up till this point. Alright, one more with this guy, and then probably one more set after this. Assuming we get a decent person. Right, so guys, really just kind of throwing out uh, moves without much of a rhyme or reason. So probably not very interesting for stream of conscious commentary. I'm just kind of not really worrying too much about defense and going for a full offensive punish kind of mindset right now. So I'm letting him hit me in places that I probably wouldn't let uh, a more experienced Falco hit me. In exchange for... Uh, getting juicier punishes and just finishing the games quicker. So 
fair bear. Do dash back fair. Bear bear dash attack on accident. Of course. Never use that attack intentionally. He does the uh, snap again. Call out the jump. Miss up the timing. Good and fair. Call out the attack uh, in place, but I messed up my down smash, but he did not attack in place anyway, so it didn't matter. And slide off bear there. Down smash there. Actually tried to detail, but it didn't matter. He SD'd anyway. Very unfortunate. Alright. Tried to do a little bit of a dare there. Tech in. Do it again. Nope. Uh, bear there. Dash attack. Lost the ledge. Do a back throw. Tried to hit him with the nair. Ah, oh, but he was on there anyway, but that probably would have clicked him even if he did it the right direction. Alright, I normally give people one more stock, but since I'm I am getting a little tired, we'll just go ahead and do one more player. Uh see how it goes. Unless they like quit on instantly, then we might do two more, but this is probably gonna be the last one. And we get our third Falcon in a row, that's fine. Let's see how he is. Instantly lasers. Crouch cancel shine. He did a fair, so that's already something that kinda tells me it's not a super experienced Falco. He does have at least a little better pressure than the last Falco. I tried to save him there. I'll go ahead and run this off. So this guy has a better penish game than the last guy, but his neutral is similarly lacking, I think. At least from what I can tell right now. He still does that silly uh, F smash at the ledge that every low and low mid-level Falco does. He down smashed there, I misspaced it slightly and wasn't quite prepared for it, but we're still gonna make it back. He's probably gonna F-smash again, even if not, we're fine. Bear. Down throw. We're gonna go for the double jab reset hammer this time. I just hammered way too slowly so it didn't connect. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I messed up and I accidentally uh, air dodged when I was supposed to up be there. He's gonna try to crowd cancel that, but we just break his crouch cancel with the third hit of fair. And Falco cannot live that, sadly. I'm gonna do smash again. We're gonna go ahead and ledge dash. Down throw. Hammer this time in sweet spots because he DI'd out at just the wrong angle. Wait out the F smash. Wait out the F smash again. Hit him with the reverse bear. Uh, up throw. Tried to call out a tech in place with hammer, but I walked into his get up attack range. Goes for a shine bear and doesn't quite connect with it. Goes for the down smash and does it again, and he should die here. Alright. So yeah, kind of similar to the last Falco. A little better punish game, but pretty shaky neutral. And he doesn't even appear to be able to tech the down, uh, down throw reliably, so as long as he's not teching that, we're gonna get some pretty juicy and free punishes. That was pretty good shield pressure. Now go ahead and down air, up tilt, beat the tech in. Tried to do a bear there, I accidentally nared, it's still fine. I should die here. He did not dare, if he dared there I was dead. Call out the main move from the ledge, turn around bear and he should die. That was an aerial hammer and that might kill me because I DI'd that terribly. And I trained exactly for that in the punch, so that's not gonna work. Go ahead and do some. And I trained exactly for that in Uncle Punch, so of course that worked. Uh, tried to up here there, but my inputs just didn't come out. He rolls away. Probably not the best move on his part, because now he's in a really shaky position. That was a good air dodge by him. He's probably gonna eat a lot more percent before recovering completely. Tried to down smash there, I was just a frame or two too late, or just misfaced it or something. Get a kind of not really real. Dare D smash there. Okay, if he charges ledge, then I can just up air him. Space just outside the range. He can't time it at that uh, particular timing. I'm just run off air to cover the ledge side B. And he has, he's getting more ledge shenanigans. Alright. Gonna attack that. Uh, I missed the attack. And I messed up my drift too. And I did not. Uh, Adequately prepare for that, so I just got killed and I deserve that. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. 
And we'll go ahead and bully him and check to see if on platform. Oh, he actually uh, did the SDI off the platform, which is what you're supposed to do, incidentally. Of course, the counterplay of that is to just not jab reset and wait for them to get up with Kirby. Jab to mess up his timing. Tried to grab there, didn't come out. Tried to grab there, didn't come out. Call out the jump. Up air. Uh, dead Falco. Probably play one more game with this guy, and since I was playing with this being my being my last one anyway, but we just kind of ran into the three Falcos in a row. Let's hopefully get one more matchup out of this video. Let's see, who did we cover so far? We covered Fox, we covered Falco, we covered Sheik, we got a Luigi in there. Uh, we got Falcon a couple times, I think. So yeah, Puffer Peach would be nice, but it might not happen, especially because they're so rare on netplay. He got a tech for once, so good on him. I ran right into that F-Smash. Uh, messed up my drift a little bit there, but I should be able to just drift the ledge again there. And you should just die here. Ow. Alright, yeah. Deserve that. Uh, I was prepared to tech whatever he threw out there, but he didn't throw out anything he needed to tech. Tried to go for a very quick fair bear there, but he did a suicide there, so that was definitely not a trade that was worth it for him. Death attack there. Tried to bear, accidentally dared. Could die. I almost died there. If I just uh, messed up my SDI just slightly more than I already did, I was dead for that second dare. Tried to attack the dare, just ended up looking completely because I air dodged an accident. So go ahead and do that. Get that hitbox out, and he's a dead bird. Oh, no, he lived. Check that. Barely. Just barely get back on stage from that. I tried to up to it, but the move just didn't come out, and so I just get a smash. Good shorten by him. F tilt. Fair. He actually air dodges again. Really good idea by him. So this guy's clearly inexperienced, but he's definitely adapting, which is more than a lot of inexperienced people, I can say, so... All right, and he quit out before I did, but GG's, all right. One more. If it's a new character, we'll probably play a few more games with them. If it's another Fox or Falco or something, it's another Fox. So we'll just play three more games, and then we'll just call it a session. All right, so again. Once again, it looks like we ran into a bit of a new Fox here. Okay, so just bear him a bit, and he dies. I actually messed up a little bit there, but we saved ourselves. Down throw. He knows the tech timing, but he did not tech in the right direction, so that's a little unfortunate. We just trade tilt a bit there. I'm fine trading percent with Fox any day of the week, especially at low percent. Since Kirby cannot really do that. Kirby cannot really do that much to Fox until he's at knockdown percent. All right, and he knew just a whole ledge there. If he tried to shine me, I was probably going to tech it and bear him off of it. All right, so he's got basic fox pressure stuff. That's good. I could die here. Yeah. So he knows what to do there. That's good. All right, so we got a little bit more of an experienced fox, which is good. Guess he was off to a bit of a slow start, but good on him. Up throw. There. And good up airs by him. We're just gonna drill. That was almost a true combo, but uh, not quite. He definitely could have DI'd the uh, up tilt on the platform a little better. Just shield that back through there. He knows enough to mash out. Good on him. We'll probably will try that again at low percent. And he doesn't get up attack. He does it again. So we just jab, jump smash, he checks in, so we read that in bear. For some reason I thought we both had three stocks. And we get him with the reverse fair. Bit cheesy, but also not much he, I think he made it back, that's unfortunate. I really thought he was dead. And we just bear him for that because he wasn't clearly prepared. Could die from this. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. 
Call out his jump with a fair, fair wall. Very, very slightly misplaced bear there. Really unfortunate dash attack on my part. He called out the roll in, but he didn't space properly. I messed up a wave dash. I messed up another wave dash, and I could probably very easily die here. Got a very clutch attack on that shine. Call out the jump, and he SDs. That's really unfortunate. Uh, okay, fine. One more since he quit out first game. Keep saying one more, but we keep running into uh, less than ideal people to end with. So, one more Falcon. I don't think we've ran into any super offensive Falcons yet, which is interesting. So right now this guy is just kind of throwing out aerials in very weird positions rather than trying to get his footing back after he's lost neutral. Interesting side B. He's sitting in shield a lot, which this Falcon doesn't have a lot of shield out of shield options. Means he's either a really new player or really unconfident in the matchup. Either way, perfectly understandable. Down smash to cover his recovery there. Grab ledge, up B, ledge dash. Uh, tried to do another wave dash and actually just spot dodge. Uh, tried to get an up air in there, but I messed up. That was a very questionable knee. I'm glad for his sake he recovered from that. Probably should have uh, DI'd that better and uh, attacked it, but it's fine. Go for a jumping inhale read. He might run into it. Uh, he, well, he didn't run into it, but he did not punish us for it either, so rocked ledge. Power shield the knee. Never really intentionally go for those. I just try to regular shield them, but if you do power shield them, it's like a nice free punish of whatever basically you want. Just trying to mix up our fairs and bears, trying to get him in a good knockdown. Put some shield pressure on him, scare him into not moving around too much. Uh, messed up there. That was a decent love, Josh. To die here, but we tech that in. Uh, got pretty lucky there, not gonna lie. Run off bear, reverse bear. Should die every time. Messed up platform movement. And we got another really good slash really lucky tech there. Uh, if he wasn't prepared to upbeat that, we can just get a free inhale there almost every time against Falcon. Call out the jump with another inhale. We'll check that and recover barely on stage. Uh, it canceled there and tried to get a bear follow up, decided to hold ledge. But she didn't, so good on him. It's probably a really bad idea to hold ledge there to stop him anyway. Call out the roll in with a bear. Call out the roll in place with a fair. Call out the high recovery with another bear. I almost died. I did die. That's unfortunate. And he rolls in. He just does one more roll. He's very quickly gonna have no shield. Call out the stomp of the up air. Didn't quite space it properly. That's uh, really unfortunate. I tried to wave dash back, not uh, roll. Another tech that probably should not have worked. That's just an incredibly unfortunate amount of lag. I think we may have disconnected there. Oh, we're good. Cool. And charge enough smash powers to get him off if he went to the rapid boost. Bear, bear. He is uh, currently... He's really just kind of throwing out a lot of aerials in a lot of what I... It seems to me like random places. I feel like he might be trying to read where I'm moving, but either his reads are very off or he legitimately just is kind of tossing aerials around in my general vicinity and hoping some of them stick. Which you know can work as Falcon if you at least have some sense of where your opponent's going, but this guy does not seem to have a very good read on my movement. Go for a runoff bear there, try to trip him up. Get a couple ledge cancel bear there. Uh, down smash the plank with his get up attack. Dip down onto the platform. Hopefully, trip him up. It didn't work. Catch a roll in with a bear. Didn't quite work. Wasn't quite fast enough. And then we just got Alright, two more games. Alright, this guy's done. Uh, okay, two more games, no matter who they are.
Actually, no, I said that last time. So one more game. We'll just play one more game with whoever else comes next, and we will call it a day. And queuing up isn't working right now. So never mind. Scratch that. We'll just call it a day there. I was going to quit soon anyway. So uh, thank you all once again for watching. This has been my stream of consciousness net play session. Uh, I don't. I, I think I succeeded in not really over explaining too much this time. So I may have erred on the side of under explaining things, and I'm sorry. But hopefully, this just gives you some insight into the kind of things that I think about and notice while playing various opponents. And hopefully, this can give you some, you know, ideas on how to formulate your own game plans with Kirby or with whoever you main. And I think that about does it. All right. See y'all.